The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, our guest today at the break will be Shane Smoley, and I'll share a few things that we're looking at today in the markets. This is the S&P. We made our high uh, in the middle of the night last night at uh, 59.25. The high uh, on Monday was 50.66, so we missed that by just a little bit. Uh, then we had the report come out right in here, and then, of course, the market came down. But how did it come down, boys and girls? There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg right here. And there's your C leg right here. And your D leg says it should have come in at 50.15, and it came in at 50.08. Is that what it says here? Uh, no, it came in at 50.12. We missed it by three points, so you can't count that as an A, B, C, D, can you? Well, maybe you can. It's only 40 handles. Ah, 50 handles. After that, you see the market moved up and then back. Now, this is just a three-minute chart. It makes a difference. It was a monthly, daily. I just want to show you the numbers, folks. From the first pullback, you see it stopped at the 382, which told you that it's got a probability of going higher, and it did go higher. You can see... If it had done just an ABCD here, we went considerably higher than it was expected to stop there at 1.618. So you ask yourself, how did it know it was going to go above 1.618? You didn't, still it started going above it. And then all it did was come up and make a, guess what? A perfect 786 retracement right here. And now we've stopped and we're right down. We're bottoming right here. As we speak right now, we should be really close to the 382 if this is any good for the rest of the day. These are the two bars you got to be afraid of because they're pretty stiff. They're just like these. We could easily break this and then start to go lower and close lower on the day, which would not be a good thing for Sunday because this market should close higher the day before a holiday and President's Day is Monday. Let's take a look at the gold market. This is in this is in uh, tribute to my good friend Jim Twentyman. Those of you that are in the gold, you know, we had our stop at uh, 2050, 202050. The old high was 202020, and uh, it didn't get there. There was the old high right here. And our stop was right there. Just missed this. But look at this. I said if it backs off one more time, I said cover it. And I was just looking at this. This is the artificial intelligence program that Jim and I worked on for – eight or nine years when we were in Pismo Beach at the trading house. We bought a MIPS computer that we actually bought two of them to run the numbers, and this is all it was doing. I've told people what this thing is, but by golly, nobody pays attention to it, which is okay. I can understand that too. But the key is it should have started down here. You see that when it doesn't go down from there, all that means is that the cycle that the program was looking for, I'm just going to show you what happens I'm just killing time, folks, because I am glad to see the weekend come because I need a little bit of rest. I hear that the, the thing is up now. This is when we started to change. It moved from bearish to bullish. And let's see who's in the house with the lucky thing. And we've got Michael from Niagara Falls about in NVIDIA, one of my favorite stocks. I have no idea what it is or what it's selling for. Michael, what can I help you with? Uh, pleasure to speak to you, uh, Larry. Um I can get the chart up. Hold in, on just one NVIDIA, second. NVIDIA, NVDA, do you see anything on the daily or weekly, any Gartley patterns, uh, anything there that tells you that we got uh, a top? Uh, yeah, there's a top coming at $15,000 a share. It should be in on Monday. Hold on. I'm joking, Mike. Just bear with me yeah. here. I Is that get based on your $10,000 secret software program with a 100% win ratio Guarantee. and yes, maximum it's, drawdown? It's, it's been sold out for two years, Mike. You're going to have to wait your turn. Here's the weekly chart. Uh, you tell me here. Now, we've got a potential. Now, if you believe in ABCD, and this was just upgraded to go to, I think, twelve or $1,300 a share by one of the, the firms today. I saw that in the air. But just the ABCD here tells we should go to four. 77 so we're we're pretty close see we're only uh, 34 dollars if you like abcds and this is a weekly 
So there's your pullback. You see it only pulled back to 30%, and now it says 477. So, you know. You're serious. Did you, yeah, that's what it looks like, 477. We're trading 437. We could be there today, so just be patient. So Let's see how it's an elevator drop, or are you looking at a zigzag down? Oh, Mike, that's part of the secret sauce. I can't give all that out, you know. Can't Mike, I have, I have no idea. Uh, it's no price involved. No, I, I, I can't. I've been sworn to secrecy. It just, just can't be given out. And if you believe any of that, Mike, I still have two shares of the Niagara Falls initial issue, so you don't yeah. want to uh, get involved with that. No, I, I just look at ABCDs, okay. and it has a possibility of going 477. It's actually not up much today, considering that it was upgraded to, I believe it's twelve to $1,400, almost double price I saw that they they uh, upgraded it too. Uh, but those analysts but, don't watch TFN. <laughs> no, this was on Bloomberg, my friend. This was on Bloomberg. Bloomberg, they don't watch TFN. Oh, don't they really? I thought that they did. They don't even call you for an interview, do they? When was the last time you were on Bloomberg? No. Mm. When was the oh, Roosevelt administration? 36? Really, yeah? What was the appearance? No, I, you know, I was only How on Bloomberg a few times. I used to be on CNBC a lot during the early yeah. 20, uh, 20 uh, early 2000, up to 2000. But then, I, yeah. you know, it was just, just a hassle to go down to the... Uh, the uh, TV station down here to get all cleaned up and have a clean shirt. Yeah. I only have one clean shirt, and I didn't want to use it every time, so I didn't go into it any after that. Yeah. Anyway, okay. if it gets have to fourteen hundred, have, have a nice weekend. You what? Put your put your limit minder on at seven seventy seven. The slot machine. See if it's going to hit there. Okay. Uh, I, I, you won't hit cherries. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mike, for calling in. I really appreciate it, buddy. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We've got to get back to our layout charts, which is right here. I wanted to go over the uh, crude oil, too, because we've had some good action here uh, in crude oil that we were looking at today. I will get up here, and I've got to get this up on a little bit smaller time frame because here's what we were looking at today. Hold on one second. I wanted to show you yesterday's high right there, if you remember, we went right to the old number right here. You're going to be able to see it. There it is right there, right to the exact 786. Last night we came down right here, stopped right at the 61% retracement, and then we made an A, B, C, D. I still think it's on its way up to this level right here. But at this spot right here, it was very, very important because we took out these lows. And if you went back and looked at this on an hourly chart, there it is, folks, right there. You see that little low right there? That was a perfect retracement right here, and that tells us we've got an A, B, C, D still going higher. Look at the 382 off of this one yesterday, folks, while we were on the air. We, oh, no, excuse me. This was in the middle of the night in the video that I sent out. I said it's going to have pretty good support here at 76. It got down to 75.57, and then it just took off. Uh, of course, if you didn't buy here, once it went above here, that you knew there was something wrong. And look, the way it went. So, hey, let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, got the bonds up here, folks. We went short here two days ago, right here at 119.08, and we're trading at 118.07. Right now, we're looking for at least this level right here around 117.05 to 116.05. Now, this is going to be the first ABCD in this new bull market. Well, that's true. We, we, excuse me. We had another one right here. Okay, that was the first one. This 3H, we missed that by four ticks. And then we had the rally up to the 786. So this is probably a rally in a bear market. That's my guess. I have to tell you this uh, funny story about uh, Jimmy. Um, I've been talking to his baby sister. She's uh, uh, she's 63. So she was, uh, I think she was two years old. When, yeah, I, yeah. Yes, I met Jimmy in 65. Anyway, when she got married, um, she was going, they picked her honeymoon to the Kentucky Derby because they liked horses and stuff. And so Jim said, ah, oh, my friend, he knows horses. And so she called me. I think I talked to her three times in 55 years. And she called me back then, and it was 1987. And she said, do you know anything about horses? And I said, a little tiny bit. And she said, do you have a horse in the Kentucky Derby? I said, yeah, I do. I said, there's a trainer named Charlie Whittingham. He was the father of trainers in the L.A. area, Hollywood Park. And and Santa Anita, and he was the dean. I mean, he taught all these young guys that are now old timers how to do this business. And he said, I'll never go to the Kentucky Derby unless I got a chance to win. And that year, he had a horse called Ferdinand, ridden by Willie Shoemaker, and he was in the one spot, which is the worst spot in the whole Derby of 20 horses. And I said, This horse is going to be a big price. He'll probably be 15 to 20 to 1. And he went off at 17 to 1, and he went wire to wire. And she never forgot that. I never did get my commission off that. I didn't have the heart to tell her that was only the third winner in 47 years for the Derby. I had Thunder Gulch one year. And what was the other one that I can't remember? Oh, anyway, it was there were three of them during those years. But uh, I, I get second in place, second and third once in a while. But uh, I'm pretty good on the on, on horses that uh, are first or second time winners because or, uh, runners because they're being trained to run. And so if you follow the pattern of who the jockeys are on the horse. So if a jockey moves from one horse to another and the jockey is better than the other jockey, that tells me that the jockey, well, someone told me this, that the jockey's agent knows that that horse is better. And so they want to put him only on the best horses because that's their ticket. 
and they don't want him riding dumpy horses. Now, they do ride dumpy horses occasionally, but you want to get as close to the uh, finish line as you can with some of these. So watch what horses are being ridden by the best jockeys, and you want a good jockey at a good price, then you got a little bit of chance. And only bet like two days a week or two days a month or whatever it is that you could do. Just It's hard to make a living at it unless you really know numbers and really follow the patterns of the trainers and the horses, and that's a that's a full-time job, just like sports betting is. You know, you got to be able to do all that. All right, let's move on to the next one here. we got just a few more minutes here. I wanted to show you the gold, why I was really nervous being short the gold here. We'll get this up here. on. The, I think it was the hourly we were looking at it. Yep, there it was right here. We sold it up here at this 382. It was a 382 off of a number back here, and it didn't go down. I mentioned in the video, I said, keep your stop right above this high. It never got there. It missed it by half a dollar. Then it had the break. When it had the break, I had the video out. I said, look, if it comes down one more time, I said, you want to get cover the position. And I said, try to cover it. And it got down to right where we thought we might go. And guess where that was? From the low to the high, just a $2 or $1 away from the exact 61% retracement. And I mentioned that if we exceed, let's just do this together because this was uh, John Hill's yum yum trade. When you have a big move up and a big move down like this, okay, a big move down and then another big move down. And once you exceed 78% of that, look out. See what happened? Boom, away it went. No A, B, C, D. Well, you could probably find a small one. Let's just double check just for kicks and giggles. No, there's not even an A, B, C, D here at all. You see, it just it's just straight up because once you – the rule is on a yum-yum, if you have a big move down like this, okay, and you exceed more than 78%, chances are they got some shorts trapped and they're getting ready to run this puppy to the upside, and that's exactly what it, what it did. So we're going to have plenty of times with – these markets because they're going to be really exciting. Let's see if the S&P held that level that we were talking about. Yep, it sure did. It stopped right there where it should have. So we'll see if it's going to pop up. Uh, there it is right there. Let's, what are we looking at? A three-minute, four-minute, something like that. Yeah, there it is right here. Stopped right on the money right there. So we should be moving a little bit higher from that level right now. Get below that, then it might be a little bit different. Okay, now one I haven't looked at that someone asked me about here is the live cattle. I've been, the uh, last few days, I've been a little bit um, overwhelmed and um, preoccupied with other things. But here are April cattle. Let's see if it made that uh, retracement back that we were hoping for. Here's a 15-minute, and we'll take a look at, oh, boy, it did it ever, son of a gun. I would have lost on this one. Glad I didn't watch this one today. So I was watching, waiting for a three. Oh, if this was a three eight two retracement, then then I would have been okay because I would have had my stop above that. Let's just double check, see if it was. <laughs> yeah. So you make the three eight two retracement. Look what happens when you re retrace more than seventy eight percent, folks. See that? There's that yum yum trade again right there. That's part of the secret sauce that we have here at uh, TFNN 24-7, only available to subscribers. This was from John Hill. John passed away at the age of 96 two years ago. He still had trades on. No, he didn't really. He, he couldn't remember very much, but if he put a chart in front of him, he could tell you what pattern it was and what it was doing. But to remember his name, not so much. But look what we have going here. Now that I look at this a little more closely, we have, ooh, how do you like this one, folks? A, B, C, and D at the high of the day, which was 188, and this was 187.96. You'd have a half a buck profit in it if you'd been following it. But that's A, B, C, D. It's not always the way it should be, but it's the way it might be, because what it is is what it shall be, and what it shall be is what it could be. And what it could be is what it is, in the words of Billy Ray Valentine. Here we are here with the November beans, folks. I love the November beans, but not yet. This is the first time that we had a situation where we had a good pattern, folks. Mini trade, eight minute, but look, it works on any time frame. There's your low. There's your ABCD coming in right here at uh, 45. It's now trading a nickel higher. And this tells us that we're probably going to get up to this level right here. That's my alert level to start watching it again. And I think we're going to be able to uh, buy these a little uh, little higher possibly 
we had that big report and it's not doing much with that big report so that's a positive thing so we're going to be watching these beans closely believe me i've got november beans on my radar i've got december meal on my radar and i got december soybean oil on my radar we want to be on those because those led me to the promised land folks back in 1975 and 76 i was lower i had to look up to see whale poop that's how low i was but i came back okay and never look back so i don't plan on looking back either so that's what we're looking at. hey we got to take a break here we got the main dude coming up man our shane smoley and the wolf trader.com should be entering the room anytime now and i think he's up to date stay with us boys and girls more fun at tfnn.com Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, in the world of technical analysis, this is known as a temporary technical failure. Shane is rebooting. Didn't say if it was his wife or the computer, but he's doing something like that. All right, let's move on here to the November beans here. I want to show you the longer-term picture here of why I like this thing. Okay, here's what we were looking for. If you remember, we thought it was going to bottom in here at 57. We took a $0.06 cent loss. It's now uh, you know, trading down into this area right here. 
let's move this up a little bit because what's happened now, I don't think I'm getting – yeah, we're trading. We're up a little bit from this level. See, we bought this right here at uh, 57. We got stopped out of it right here. So we're still – from where we got out of it, you see this just making a small ABCD pattern right here. So we're not even close you know, to getting ready to go long this on a bigger time frame. I might have missed something here. Oh, dear. If I did, I'm going to kick myself in the shins. There's your ABCD leg right here. Boy, I hope that comes in at 57. Wow, that came in at 42. Why did I do that? Oh, I was just doing this. I didn't see this way back in February. I would have had my order at 42 and my stop below here. Eh, still would have got me probably, but I'm, I'm watching it, folks. What I'd like to see, and we'll wait till Shane gets here, but this is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see this. Now, this is my hope, okay? This is what I want to see. I'd like to see the market do this. Now, remember, this is an hourly chart. So there's the first leg of it right there. That's good. Now, all I want it to do now is to go up and do another leg like this. Okay, now I'm going to stop right here. Now, if I get that pattern, you see what I have now is I've got a beautiful one, three, five. Let's figure out when that should come in, and we'll put somebody on the air that knows something about this stuff. That should come in on the 19th, 20th. Hey, we got to look at this Monday, folks, because if this thing pulls down, the 19th is the holiday. Monday, we want to look at it Tuesday because if it's backing off into this area right here, it might be a good spot to uh, go long with your stop below here. You're, you're, stop, you're talking about seven cents. You're talking about a risk of $300 to be a new crop soybean farmer in November beans. So we want to be watching that one uh, on uh, Tuesday. I'll put that on my calendar here to pay – uh, you know, very, very close attention to it, okay? So that's what we're paying. We're still waiting for Shane to come on. They're going to give me a little uh, bell to ring when I hear him coming on. Let's take a look at the July soybeans. July, and uh, those were the ones that bailed me out many years ago. So here's July beans. Now, they're, they're not doing anywhere near because we have the hourly chart up. Let's get the hourly chart up. We're seeing the same thing. See, it's, it's actually weaker. You see how it pulled back? And here is the... I think the Shane man is in the house. Shane, how are you doing? Hello, Larry. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Why don't you go ahead? We don't want to miss any time, so just start running. We're ready. Sure. Um, okay, so today I, I have a lot of people asking me about interest rates because, you know, the Fed said they were going to cut, and now we have all these inflation reports that are a little bit hotter. So I thought I would prepare a, a presentation. That I, have done, I did it a while ago about long-term interest rates. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, I'm going to look at three different types of interest rate cycles and just kind of give you the combined forecast just to maybe see if we can get a little bit uh, more resolution on, on what's what's coming up here into the future uh, in, regarding interest rates. Uh, but before we get started on that, I just want to remind everybody who follows us with the geomagnetic storms that um, – we are coming into a, a, a time in the season now where there's going to be an increase in the geomagnetic storms. So be on the lookout for that. I mean, February, March, and April are, are significantly higher months here. Uh, and this does correlate to uh, the annual – The it, it inversely correlates to the annual cycle of the Dow Jones. So that it should be very interesting to see uh, how this market behaves. This is the, the annual cycle of the Dow Jones, and you can see – uh, we're here into February, March, and April. It is a downward cycle now, and that, that correlates inversely with the solar storm activity. So for those of you who like to watch the solar storms, uh, it should be more interesting now coming into the next few months. We had a really quiet period, uh, but now this is increasing. And like I said, that does inversely go with the Dow Jones cycle. So just wanted to share that with everybody. And you know, just to lay out a disclaimer here, we are talking about cycles here. Cycles are average values. Uh, it is not the same thing as trading, obviously. Uh, and just to remind everybody, we do have uh, to go with our tr our trades and our service. We have live accounts, live auto trading accounts that track the trades directly. Uh, so I just want to just, bear, just make that distinction there. So we're talking about cycles today. But in addition to that, we do have, like I said, the live accounts that match. And that's one of the things that we try to do here is that when we post the trades on the service, we want to make sure that they're uh, being posted in managed, like managed accounts, auto trading, exactly the trades that we're doing. So just want to make that disclaimer that cycles are not the same thing as trades, but uh, it can be helpful to give us some perspective, I guess is the right word, on where this could be going based upon past history. Okay, so uh, there's three cycles that I want to look at today. 
So two of these are going to be, I'm going to look at uh, two astro cycles here. We're going to look at the Jupiter cycle. Then we're going to look at the Saturn cycle. And then I'm going to do what's called a spectral analysis. And all this, all this is, is this looks for uh, a peak value uh, based upon an annual cycle. So it could just be, it could just, it's any, any annual cycle. It could be 9.2, 8.3, 6.1, whatever it is. So I'm going to look at it from that angle too, just like a regular cycle. And then if we have time at the end, I'm going to get into the, the biorhythms that I have. That's a specific system that I run uh, to look at some of these, the long bond. We're going to look at how, how the long bond might uh, react. So again, these are average values, just to give, just let people know. These are average values, not the same thing as trading. So just kind of keep that in mind. This is just to give us a perspective. Uh, and of course, you know, th things don't always go to plan with the cycles. Okay, so the long-term Jupiter cycle. So Jupiter follows Jupiter follows a, a cycle of about 12 years around the sun. And so what we can do is we can correlate how the interest rates have behaved with Jupiter uh, as it as it orbits the sun. And so this gives us a nice 12 year cycle to look at. And so what we have found with this uh, Jupiter cycle is that the 12 year period gives us four waves. Uh, specific waves. Now, this is not like with Elliott wave or something like this. It's always five waves up and three waves down or, or whatever it is, corrective patterns. That's not how this works. This is just looking at the actual cycles as they appeared. So you'll never get a, a cycle that looks like an Elliott wave or anything like that. They're going to come up with their own specific cycles as these interest rates have moved through time. And what we're going to look here, we're going to look at here is just, like I said, we're going to be looking at these interest rates. Um, and so, uh, Wave one up just completed. Currently, we're in wave wave two down, and then wave two completes in 2025. Okay, so we're in a downward cycle. So let's take a look at this. So these are um, we're looking at interest rates here, uh, and this is going back. I'm going to go back and just look through a few years here. This is 2009 to 2020. So this is this is the the four wave cycle of this Jupiter cycle. So like I said, it has wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and I I picked the starting point here at the low. So the low is going to be here. So the wave one's always going to be pushing up like this, uh, just to give us a perspective. So this is kind of how how the cycle goes. And then the red here, these are the interest rates um, as we've moved through time. Now uh, everybody knows we just saw this this increase in interest rates. So uh, this is the 10-year interest rate here. So this is the recent cycle here. This hits this low right in COVID. So one of the things that I want to point out to people is that these these cycles are they're in, they're independent. We'll get back to that in a minute. We're gonna take a break. We gotta pay a few break uh, a few bucks for a break. We'll be right back, folks. Shane Smalley. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Please continue. Oh, sure. So this uh, this was the 10 year interest rate cycle. So you can see here in 2020, uh, this this was the low that came in on this particular cycle. This is the Jupiter cycle. Uh, so this was the wave four here at the bottom. And then as as we moved up here, this was a peak here at wave one. And then the next low is going to be coming down here into this. This is the first going to be the wave two into here. So we are at uh, a crest on this particular cycle. Uh, and so if we if we expand this out, uh, this particular Jupiter cycle actually will be declining until 2032. Now, uh, this shows a low coming out here into 2025, somewhere out into here, probably late part, later part of this year, and then it just kind of chops higher with a larger drop again, uh, showing in this 2030 to 2032 period. So according to this, uh, we should start to see some relief coming on the interest rates in spite of these uh, recent inflation reports that have been running kind of hot. And I, I do look at a lot of these uh, real-time models, one of them is Trueflation, and it's running around 1.4, 1.3%. So it's likely that these numbers will cool off. Uh, it's just we're, we're seeing a, a few bumps here. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of these inflation uh, items that are sticky and are a little bit tougher. Once you get down under, you know, down near the 3%, it gets harder for it to come down. Um, now, the next cycle is a 29-year cycle. So this is a longer-term cycle. So I like to look at different time frames. I don't just want to look at the same time frame over and over again. I want to look at uh, a, a medium term, a long term, a short term to see if they can overlap at any given point. So this is a 29 year cycle and this particular cycle is eight specific waves. Uh, wave one is the largest surge up. This is how I just defined it. This is how I started counting it. Then it, uh, then it runs sideways until wave six and then wave eight takes it to lows. Um, wave eight completed in 2020, sorry, wave one completed in 2023 and wave two heads lower until 2025 so we're seeing kind of a similar situation here now this is this longer term cycle this is 29 years here and so you can see here that starts here this is this is going back to 1990 here 2000 2010 and 2020 so you can see that this starts with this big uh, shoot up here in wave one and then it just kind of chops lower here in this 29 year uh cycle and then like, you get to this wave seven here and then wave eight is this biggest drawdown into here. Now, notice that wave eight also came during 2020. That came during the COVID lows. Uh, so that was really interesting. So what we had here, we had a just uh, an overlap of these two different cycles. And they, they both hit those lows at the same time, which is really interesting. So COVID was a very unique event, right, in the world. The world basically shut down. So a lot of cycles had to overlap at that point. And so you can see here um, that the 10-year interest rate versus the Saturn cycle you see here's the low again in COVID here, and then it shoots up here. We're into this wave one again, and so this is ending. This has already ended, uh, and we are going to be coming down on this particular cycle um, also until uh, right around late 2024, 2025, and then, it, and then it goes up again into 2029. But the, the, the point of this is both of these cycles are in agreement that the interest rate should be coming down, at least on the short term here, uh, and we will see – We'll see how that goes. Uh, you know, we're still waiting for the rate cuts. And we, like I said, now it looks like it's going to be pushed out until summer. Um, but 
the, the interesting thing about this is that they both they're both in agreement on the on that low. And it, it would make sense if you have such a such a plunge in interest rates, you would have to see many of these cycles uh, essentially overlapping on top of each other. Now, in addition to the Jupiter and the Saturn cycle, the two planetary cycles, I, I just looked at like a specific uh, cycle, like a regular vanilla cycle, like a, a 8.3. So I, I did a spectral analysis. What a spectral analysis does is it tells you, you, you look at these different terms and it creates a, it creates a spectrum. And the, what it, basically what it does, it looks like this and it finds these spikes across time and it finds the best uh, particular uh, cy cycle period. So basically this one came in at 8.32 years. And so this is the one that I'm going to look at now. So this is a little bit shorter than the Jupiter cycle. Because remember, when we talked about the Jupiter cycle, um, the Jupiter cycle was you know, looking at 12 years. And then the Saturn cycle was looking at 29 years. And so this cycle is going to look at the spectral is going to look at uh, 8.32 years. And so I'm trying to look at I want to look at different time frames. I don't want to look at different cycles that are all right around 12 or all right around 30 are all right around eight. I want to look at different cycles. So that's how we come up with this specific cycle. And this particular one is 8.32 years. It's a four wave cycle. So similar to the Jupiter cycles, four waves. Wave one is the largest surge up. And this one's completed in 2022. Uh, and it's heading lower until 2025. So again, we have similar themes here going on. Uh, and then the larger low comes in 2028. So this one suggests that we are going to be headed down for the next four years. Uh, just, just, on balance uh, for the next four years. So the way that this cycle looks, if you go back to, now that I went way back, I went back to like early 1900s on this, uh, as long as I could go on this particular cycle um, on, on some of these. But anyway, so we go 1995 here, going up here to 1997, this was the wave up shooting up here. And then wave two was down into um, 1999, then wave three and then wave four in 2003. So you can see the red line here is the interest rates kind of following this path. So again, these are average values. I mean, you can have deviations from this, of course. Uh, it's not going to give you the exact lows, but kind of gives you a, a perspective of, you know, what is, <clears throat> what is the history been of this as we go through time? And then if I if I kind of overlap this out into the future, you can see here that um, th we hit this low. We hit this the four the the fourth wave low in 2020. So once again, this one hits. Uh, in 2020, right at the low, and this one actually made a crest already. Now the interest rates are still holding up here, uh, but this is showing us heading down into late 2025. Also, then a little jog up here into 2026, and then another one coming down into this 2028 period. So this is this one suggests that we are still going to be headed down here uh, through this period. So after I looked at these three different cycles. Uh, what I did was I, co I combined these cycles into into like a, a composite pattern. So uh, what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show a superimposed graph, and that superimposed graph is going to show the peak in uh, 2022, 2023, and then the superimposed graph is going to show that the interest rate cycles are now in decline for a prolonged period of a decade or lower, uh, with particular lows coming in 2024 and then 2028, the larger low in 2033. So and, and on balance, it looks like we have hit peak interest rates according to these cycles uh, for a while. So the next chart here that I'm going to show you is th this is so this is the interest rates here versus all of the cycles here. So, for example, this is this is the interest rates here. This is the 10 year interest rate right here. You can see it's been falling and falling and falling. And then we we come into this low into here. Right. And so this this low into here, this is the 2020 low. This is the code where this is right. Yeah, 20. This is 20, 2019, 2022. This is right into that covid low. So you can see it's here. And then if you look here, this is this is our, our Jupiter cycle here. This is the Jupiter. This is the Saturn. By the way, this is Al this is Alfie's program that I did this with Alfie Lavoy mm -hmm. for anybody who's interested This is air software. Uh, and then this is that this is the 8.32 year cycle. So you can see. All of these cycles hit at the, exactly the same time, so they bought, they all kind of came together. So this was kind of a a very bizarre uh, convergence of cycles that we saw that super low, and then on top of it, be, after they hit this low, they all pushed up at the same time together. So th this was very unusual. If you look back at these graphs, they almost never overlap. Okay, they almost never overlap into here, but right here they did. 
So we had to, we, we have a big to plunge. pay a few bills. Sure. Have to pay a few bills. We'll be right back, folks, with Shane Smolian, Wolf Trader. Dot com. Stay tuned. We've got three more minutes coming up. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back, folks, with Shane Smoley and TheWolfTrader.com. You have two and a half minutes to wrap her up, my friend. Thank you, Larry. Okay, I'll, I'll do my best here. All right, so... All right, so what we have here is this is the ten-year. This is the this is the composite, and you can see here we had this overcompensation uh, to the downside when they all agreed, and then we had an overcompensation to the upside, and now we should be returning to more of a kind of a normalized environment. And if you put these all together, if I can read the tea leaves here, if you will, put all these cycles together, um, essentially it's showing a push down into. Uh, this 20, 2024, 2025 region, another low around 2028, and then a final push up into 2030, and then a final low into 2033. So ultimately, it seemed, it, according to this, we, we should see a, have seen a peak, at least in the 10-year interest rates, uh, for a while. In other words, because we had the overcompensation to the downside, and then the overcompensation to the upside here, uh, now we should be in a period of declining and just kind of returning to normal here uh, on the interest rates. So that's that's my... That's my summary on the interest rates because so many people had asked about it, and I just wanted to kind of get, give my my best uh, my best forecast there based upon these cycles. So, anytime in the next six months, there'll be a top in the stock market. Um, I 
feel that the market is. I feel that the market is at a, a cycle highs now. They're at cycle crest right now. So uh, I give more specific mm -hmm. forecasts uh, to the subscribers. But you know, we are we are we are actually on the 15th. There was a, a very important quad lunar high. So there was major cycle highs right around the 15th. So we just passed some major important cycle highs. We'll see if it follows through. But the cycles are essentially pushing to the downside now. Okay. Listen, thanks for joining us, my friend. We'll have you on soon and keep those cards and letters coming in. We love hearing from you. Thank you, Larry. And if anybody wants to join us this Saturday, we have a webinar on Saturday, 8 o'clock. And then Sunday, we have a Zoom session uh, where we talk about our live auto trades. We have live accounts that we review each Sunday. And then on Saturday, if you guys just want to come out, we have, a, we have different topics each week. And then you can join the discussion in YouTube. We'd love to see you there. And so hopefully we'll see you there. Shane, thank you very much, folks. ShaneSmolian.com, Wolf Trader, and we will be on the air on Tuesday, holiday on Monday.